Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a malignant mesothelioma of the pleura. And we can see here two tissue pieces of parietal pleura, and it's very abnormally thickened by tumour. Let's first have a very quick recap of the normal histology of the pleura. In the parietal pleura, normally it is lined by a single layer of mesothelial cells that are very bland looking, and underlying that is some fibroelastic stroma. We can also see blood vessels within the stroma. And underlying this is some adipose tissue. Sometimes if the biopsy is taken more deeply, we can also see skeletal muscle of the chest wall. In this particular specimen, we do not see any skeletal muscle. This is the area that is involved by the tumour, and we can see that the pleura is very markedly thickened. Sometimes we are also able to see these malignant mesothelial cells infiltrating into the adipose tissue or even into the skeletal muscle of the chest wall, but in this particular case, we don't see a very obvious focus of invasion into the fat. Let's take a closer look at this malignant area. The malignant mesothelial cells are arranged in small nests and also in glandular structures. And in some areas, there is a more cystic appearance with these dilated structures containing papillary structures within the lumina. As we move around, we can see a combination of tubular architecture, cystic architecture, solid architecture, and some papillary architecture. So overall, we can describe this architecture as tubulopapillary architecture. We can also see that the surrounding stroma is very desmoplastic. It is cellular and there is this proliferation of plump spindle cells, which are the myofibroblasts in the stroma. There are also a few scattered inflammatory cells in the stroma. Now let's have a look at the neoplastic mesothelial cells. These cells appear to be quite plump and polygonal. The nuclei are enlarged and as we look around, we can see that some of the nuclei are quite irregular. They have irregular nuclear membranes, whereas others are rounder. So there is some degree of nuclear pleomorphism, variation in nuclear size and shape. And also one very striking feature that we see are the presence of prominent nucleoli. So many of the nuclei in this particular field have got prominent nucleoli. And looking around again, we can see the prominent nucleoli here demonstrated very nicely. And again, in this particular nucleus, the nucleus is very large. Another feature that we can see is the presence of frequent mitotic figures. And I'm going to just navigate around. In this field, I can see a few mitotic figures. For example, there is one here. There is another mitotic figure here, another one here, and also another mitotic figure here. So mitoses are very readily identified. So it is this combination of this proliferative growth pattern, marked thickening of the pleura, this desmoplastic stroma, and also sometimes, if we are fortunate, we can also see invasion into the underlying adipose tissue or skeletal muscle tissue. These are all features of malignant mesothelioma and also not forgetting the nuclear features of malignancy. Let's have a very quick look at a gross specimen of mesothelioma. Here is a longitudinal section of a lung and we can see that this lung is surrounded by markedly thickened pleura which forms a rind-like covering squeezing into the lung and in some of these areas we can see a very nodular expansion that's very fleshy of the parietal pleura. Here again we can see these solid fleshy appearing nodules and this is a cross-section of some of the ribs and we can see that this marked nodular proliferation is extending right into the intercostal muscle. 
moving this specimen around, we can also see the thickness of this rind of neoplastic pleura surrounding the lung parenchyma. This is taken from our Virtual Pathology Museum in our Pathology Online Resource Path Web. And you can also scroll down to look for lots more information. For example, gross images that are annotated, microscopic images, and also talking pots and talking slides. If you would like free access, you can click on the link in the video description. In summary, this is a virtual microscopic slide of a case of malignant mesothelioma of the pleura. And this tumor is composed of tubular papillary structures that are lined by cytologically malignant cells with large nuclei, prominent nucleoli, a moderate degree of nuclear pleomorphism, and readily identified mitotic figures. And this forms a mass within the pleura, which thickens it markedly. And this can invade into the surrounding adipose tissue and can also invade into the chest wall structures and sometimes even into the lung. The prognosis of malignant mesothelioma is poor overall. This is very often linked with a history of exposure to asbestos. And asbestos exposure also predisposes a patient to lung carcinoma, especially if the patients are smokers. Thank you.